Alrighty, now we're going to, uh, we just demonstrated on the plastic uh, model of the bones of the foot, we demonstrated our palpation skills. Now we're going to demonstrate on a real live foot. Now this is a really good foot for demonstrating on because it's sort of very medium. We're not, we don't have huge outstanding features that are absolutely clear, but it's not completely obscure either. So here we go. Now, uh, remember we first palpated the medial malleolus. Now we can see here that there's a prominence. So we're going to think, okay, that's our malleolus right there. See, I'm palpating with my finger and I find the most prominent area, which is there. I'm going to place my thumb on that prominence. Now, I'm going to just move the foot like this. I'm dorsiflexing a little bit, plantar flexing, moving it just like that. What I can feel under my thumb, right here, under my thumb, is I can feel some soft tissue moving, but the bone is not moving. That bone that I have my thumb pressed against, and it's a firm pressure there, is not moving. It's not a harsh pressure, but it is firm. All righty. And I'm gripping that malleolus. I can actually, with my other fingers here, I can feel the lateral malleolus. I'm moving the whole thing. Again, I can feel the skin and other soft tissues moving, and I can feel that the bone is not moving. So there's, that's the inferior extreme of the tibia right there in the medial aspect of the leg and foot. Now, right there from the malleolus, which I've located by touch in this way, by dorsiflex, plantar flex like that, I'm going to move immediately inferior to that. Now, we're looking at it just visually. It appears to be pretty much featureless. It just is a flat area. That's what we're looking for. So here's the malleolus, my ho a whole thumb width here like this. So it's pretty much like here's my thumb on the malleolus right there. And right next to it is my uh, other thumb, which is now on the talus. And I can actually feel the, the margin of that tibia bone, the inferior margin of it right here against my thumb. So that's a good indicator. Now if I move like this, I can feel that talus bone, my thumb is moving with the talus bone, and it's moving against that inferior margin of the tibia right there. So now I know I'm on the talus. I want another check on that. I can do like this. See, I'm moving the, the this is the calcaneus, which we looked at them in the model before. That's the tuberosity of the calcaneus. Calcaneus bone goes approximately, here's our malleolus, so it's going to go approximately from here to here. If I move this slightly like that, see it's really a slight movement, but I can feel that the talus is not moving. I can see the rest of the foot moving, and if I slide my thumb just slightly inferior, I'm going to feel this subtalar joint here move. And that's what I'm looking for. I can feel the talus is not moving, and I can feel the subtalar joint and the calcaneus move. Now, you see how slight that is? Here's my thumb. Here's the malleolus. Just roll my thumb in this direction. I can feel, I can move the foot. I can feel the tibia is not moving, and the talus is. I press on the talus like this, move that calcaneus, and I can feel that subtalar joint move. And again, and in this case, the talus is not moving. I have my thumb pressed against it. Alrighty, now, if I move my thumb just a little bit, now here's our malleolus. There's a, if we take this line right in front of the malleolus like that, and start to move, remember, I had to, in the, on the plastic model, I moved like this. I can just as easily grip the, the metatarsals Metatarsals are in this region here. I can just as easily, I can grip them this way or this way. The important feature is I'm pressing my thumb on this talus bone and I'm rotating those metatarsals. Now, this is good because this is a, uh, a foot with a medium kind of appearance, dense tissue, strongly developed, and I'm going to be Rota I'm moving the metatarsals like that. All right, now, I'm gonna try 
this is good because this is a palpation challenge. So here's the first metatarsal right there. I'm going to move from the other direction. I know then that that's that medial cuneiform. If I back up a little bit here, it's about the width of the, the that medial cuneiform is about the width of my thumb. Here again is that, me, that first metatarsal. If I start rotating this here, then this thumb here, this thumb here, like that, I can feel. So in this case, I'm going to press on that cuneiform, and I can feel this joint here move. So now I can feel where that joint is because I can feel it move. I'm pressing here, which I'm guessing is where the navicular is. But now, as I do this, rotate this, now I can do it also by rotating the metatarsals slightly like that, twisting them like that. I can feel this joint move. The joint is right there. It's not visually apparent, and I can feel it move. So that's my skill because I can feel that this bone under my finger here, this one here, which I have my thumb pressed on, is not moving, and this bone here is moving. And that's my, so I'm activating that joint, palpating it, and I know for sure now that this is where that navicular is, and that's where the tuberosity of the navicular is. That's important for me in my work to be able to know exactly where that is. And so, there's my thumb on the navicular, which I've located by palpation. It was a kind of a difficult palpation, but that's good. It's testing my skill. And here, I'm rotating my thumb just slightly, and I'm going to, again, let's see. I'm going to, I guess, reposition my hand here, go like this. Now I'm, now. Here's my talus, there's my malleolus, my talus. I'm pressing on that talus again, rotating that, uh, or twisting those metatarsals enough so I can feel this joint move, that's that talonavicular joint. Now it's not visually apparent, and in fact, because of the st strong development of this tissue, the muscular uh, development of the tissue, it's difficult, I'm having a difficult time actually feeling the bones. There's a good deal of dense soft tissue across the surface here. So as I do this, then I can feel that joint activate and then I know where it is. And now that contributes to the quality of my work because I want this reflex here or this reflex here. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, here's, and again, so here's the, cuneiform, which we located before. It's not apparent by, it's not visually apparent, became apparent when I was moving the metatarsals here and I could feel that joint move. Like that. All right, now, now I know where that joint is. Right there, it's right there, and there's my cuneiform. Here's my metatarsal, my first metatarsal. Now, I'm looking for this joint here, which is that first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Visually, I cannot see exactly where it is. I know generally where it is. So, how I'm going to locate that is like this. I'm grasping across the metatarsals, and I'm going to dorsiflex and plantar flex that toe and move this finger in a distal to proximal direction as I do that. And there I can feel it open and close on the dorsal surface like this. As I do that, I want to be able to palpate on the medial surface. So again, I'm grasping the metatarsals firmly, and I can feel the joint move with my thumb and with my finger, like that. Getting an exact, there we go. Good. Now, same thing here. This is our proximal phalanx. We've palpated this uh, first metatarsal phalangeal joint. We want to get the first interphalangeal joint. How I'm, going to, how I'm doing this is I'm grasping that, meat, that proximal phalanx and I'm going to dorsiflex and plantar flex this 
distal fin flame lengths like this. And there, I'm going to place my finger where I expect that joint to be, and I can feel it open and close. I'm going to do it again like this. And I know, now I know exactly where that is. And that's an important feature because it guides me in the exact location of the reflexes I'm looking for. All righty. Very good. Thank you. And there we have our palpation of the bones on the medial aspect of the foot. And that was a good demonstration because it was slightly challenging. So we get to use our skill and then find exactly where those bones are, even though it's not initially completely apparent. Alrighty, thank you.